Alrighty, so you all should have gotten a piece of grass just like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take your snakes and you're going to weave them through the grass. So take one of your first snakes and you are going to start behind the first blade of grass. Then he's going to come over the second one, behind the next one. And then he's going to go in front of this one, and then behind the last one. So you can see it's a pattern. He went behind, in front, behind, in front, and behind. You're going to take your next snake and he's going to come in from this side. He's going to go opposite of the snake before. So this snake ended up, the last one was behind the grass. So this snake is going to start in front of the grass. And then we'll go behind this blade. I like to kind of do it this way, holding it up helps. And then he goes in front of the next one. He wants to go behind this one. And then he wants to go in front of this one. Alrighty, we're halfway there with our snakes. So notice it's a kind of a pattern. It goes this way, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind. But it's also a pattern because this one was behind, this one is in front, this one was in front, this one is behind, this one went behind, the snake came in front, the snake is in front here, the snake is behind there, the snake is behind here, the snake is in front there. So it's going to go like a pattern this way and this way, doing the opposite of whatever is next to it. So we'll take our third snake. So again, we look here, our last snake ended up in front on the last one. So this guy starts behind and then he comes in front and then he goes behind and then he comes in front and then he goes behind. Awesome. Okay, and then we have one last snake. So again, this one started behind, so this one's going to start in front, and then he's going to go behind, then in front, then behind, and then in front. So if you're looking here at your snakes and your grass, it goes patterning this way, so behind, in front, behind, in front, in front, behind, in front, behind behind, in front, behind, in front, in front, behind, in front, behind, behind, in front, behind, in front, and also going across this way as well. Alrighty, so the last thing you have to do is slide this off for a second. Now this is going to work best if you're kind of on a flat surface for both of these and you can kind of slide your papers around. So this is your sky. You want to cover this paper and glue like do that whole around the edges trick and a nice giant x in the middle and up and like this up and like this get just covered it covered in glue okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna very carefully Slide your snakes on back in. And you're going to bring your grass down. And then you're just going to carefully press everybody down. Um, if you have some sticky spots, um, just give it a minute and it's going to dry. If any of your snakes are wiggling around too much, you can always. Add some more glue so where he was on the grass he's going to still be unstuck. So go ahead and lift up those tails or lift up the heads. Double check. 
making sure not to fly off your paper. And then for the spots that were left, just leave everything aside to dry, and you are all set with your grassy grass snakes. Awesome job. Excited to see them.